I think uh, everyone is fascinated with my uh, cable lacing. Uh, you, you'll see it everywhere around my bench and on projects and stuff. So I did a video on this a long time ago, but I thought it'd be time to do another one and I'll be a little fancier this time. And so I have printed out some official ways to lace. Everybody has their own opinion of what knots to use and what, how to tie things and everything. So I have three different documents here. Uh, this one is for aircraft. Uh, this is the AC-21-99 Aircraft Wiring and Bonding, it's Section 2, Chapter 8. And so this tells you how to do it on airplanes. Uh, here's one for doing it on board the uh, Navy ship. Uh, this is the Electronic Installation Practices Manual, Chapter 9, Cabling, Nav Ships, 900-171, Part 5. And, and then... Uh, and then we'll end up with a uh, NASA document. Uh, so the NASA document is the NASA standard 8739.4 with change six. And uh, so, yeah, so we'll go through all three of these and they're all different. They're all different. Um, okay, uh, so you will need some uh, lacing material Okay, they still sell this stuff. And no, it's not cotton, it's actually nylon. Uh, and it's wax coated, at least uh, some of them are wax coated. Uh, this is a really nice one. This is heavy, heavy wax coating. Uh, I mentioned this once before. This actually has a tag inside that says it was from the IBM, IBM Corporation. IBM number 147440 14, nylon lacing cord. So this is probably used for like IBM 360 computers or something. <laughs> um, so we're going to be using it because it's, it, it's the old school look and feel. It has a really uh, heavy wax coating, but it is, it is nylon. Okay. And so uh, let's say we want to uh, make this look pretty. And so we will, uh, we will start out. Now uh, we need to start. So there's a starting knot, there's a running knot, and then there's a finishing knot, okay? So you kind of have to learn all three or figure out what, what you want to do. And everybody does it a bit differently, okay? So uh, let's see here. We wanted to start with the Navy. I mean, with the Air Force one first, let's see, not Air Force, but Air, Airline, where was that? Aircraft, yeah, let's start with this one. Okay, so let's start with the starting knot. Let's take a look at, let's take a look, look at what they do. Okay, so I have the wire coming out here. I'm gonna uh, just have it in a vise just to hold on to it, and then I will lace it in this direction, okay? So we need to start, so we will, we will take some amount of, uh, some amount of cord here. Uh, and uh, so starting out. Um, so basically what the, um, uh, the airline one does is does a clove hitch, okay? Uh, so a clove hitch looks something like this. There is a, a loop, and this one goes under, and there's a loop, and that one goes under, and they go under in different directions, okay? And so when you pull them tight, I think this is for hitching up a horse to a binding, to a, uh, I don't know, wherever you park your horse. Um, so we should, I should put this on top. So you pull this on top, okay? And it kind of looks like a, a square knot, even though it has two loops at the bottom, okay? And then you pull that tight. And then on top, um, you could tie another square knot. Sometimes you'll see people tie one square knot and then a second square knot. But what, the, uh, what this particular document wants to do um, is you want to make sure I'm going in the right direction here. You want to have everything end up on the right side. Okay, so if you notice this one this last hitch is going over that away. And if we tie something, we kind of want our, our tie to go that way too. So if we start this direction, then our tie will end up over there too, and it will, it will look nice, okay? But what they want you to do is they want you to put an extra turn on it. So you put two winds on it. So it's just like a regular knot, but you've, you've gone around twice and you pull that tight. And there you go, that's their starting knot, okay? 
All right, so, um, and then we can continue to go down, okay? And the uh, running knots are exactly the same running knot that I always use in the garage. All right, sorry if some of that was blurry. They focused my camera different. Um, so the standard running knot that I use is I go underneath and I go over the top and you can see I've kind of formed a little, a little knot there and I just, I just pull that, okay? Go under and over here. I'm not doing that very good, rushing it. All right, so pull it tight. So you go under, over the top, and then down like that, okay? All right, or you can go under this way, go up with the top, go down this way. All right, so that's the way, that's the way my, my running knots run. All right, so the Navy has a real lazy one here too. Uh, the starting knot is just um, a square knot. You just do a square knot um, and tighten it. And that's, that's it. You just tie a square knot <laughs> and you're done. And then you can just start, uh, you can just start doing the normal um, running knots like, like the ones I always do in the garage. They're just a simple, simple running knot. So yeah, so that's a super simple one from the Navy. Uh, we'll look at a more complicated one. All right, on this one, we're gonna do a fancy one. So this time, uh, the Navy wants you to put this little bit of end here, okay? And then we are going to wrap around like this, okay? And so that little end is gonna be hidden by these wraps that we take on top of it, okay? And it says that you should do like eight eight wraps, okay? We're wrapping around, wrapping around, wrapping around. And then when we finally get to where we want to start, we will just do a standard, a standard running knot, okay? We'll just put a standard running knot right at the end of all of this, all of this stuff here. We'll have one standing. Okay, and then we can continue, okay? And then we can continue. We'll make the next one. We'll make the next one, all right? And so there we go. Uh, it says that you can you can do that, and then this looks really really pretty. Okay. Okay. The next uh, starting knot is going to look like this. Uh, we're going to put a loop this time. Okay. So we're going to have a loop, and we're going to have the loop face this direction. Okay. And now we are going to do what we did last time. We are going to wrap around and wrap around and wrap around. It says like eight times. Okay, so we're putting this wraps and wraps and wraps and wraps and wraps. All right. And then when we get, when we get down to the end, okay, um, we're gonna go through the loop. Here's our little loop that's still left over. We're gonna go through that loop, okay? And then we're gonna pull on this loose end. Remember the loose end? We're going to pull on that and that cinches everything up and that now we have this really, really nice knot here and now we can continue on our merry way. We can do the, the running knots and we can continue. It does not look nice. Doesn't that look nice? All right. So sometimes you'll have running knots and sometimes you'll have one knot and then, a, and then another knot and another knot and they won't be connected anyway. Okay. And a lot of time that's done with a clove hitch. Okay. So we can tie ourselves a clove hitch here and come, let's see here. I always do this wrong. Come back around and we'll come out this side. There we go. So we have a, we have a clove hitch. We can just do a clove hitch. We can do a square knot, a square knot, or we can do one of those double square knots and then we can just snip, cut it off and then go and do it again down here and then do it again down here and just have that, okay? But the Navy teaches you a real, a real fancy way to do it. And it's very, very similar to the one that we just did. It says we're gonna make a little loop, okay? We're gonna put that on. We'll do it this way this time just for fun. Um, and then we will uh, make our little loops here, okay? And so we will make a few of these. All right, as many as you think looks nice. Let's put a 
couple more on. Okay, I like that looks of that one. Okay, we're gonna go through the. Uh, we're gonna go through the loop that we started out with, and we're gonna we're gonna pull on this end. Let's see if I can find it here. We're gonna pull on this end. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to pull the other knot underneath. Okay, and I didn't do a very good job of it here, but I'll show you a picture that makes more sense. Okay. And so we'll pull that underneath, right? And then we'll come back and we'll cut, we'll cut this off and we'll cut this off and we'll have just one thing here. But let me show you the picture because it makes much more sense. Okay, so this is how, oops, let me go farther up here. So this is how you start. You have this little loop and you wind, 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 you go through the loop and then when you pull it, what you're doing is you're pulling it so you're kind of evening those two things. When you pull them, you'll end up with that stuff all underneath the winding and then you cut the two ends off and you end up with this with this really, really nice little piece. And then you do it again, then you do it again, then you do it again. So that's one that's one way to do it, okay? And this is that fancy one that I just, that I just showed you. Okay. Okay, let's go on to the, uh, to NASA and uh, take a look at that. Okay, NASA is different than the other guys, okay? NASA, you're gonna start out with a, with a loop, okay? You're gonna put it here and you're gonna pull these guys through here and you're gonna end up with a knot that looks like this, okay? It's like, it's sort of like a um, clove hitch, but it's not. It's more like a, you go one, one more time, it's a Prusik knot if you know what those are, uh, but you have, I don't know what this one's called, but you have a, a, a double thing like that, okay? So, uh, you uh, pull that tight, all right? And then uh, you first, oops, you first start imagining you're gonna make a, uh, you're gonna be making a running knot. So, okay, so I'm gonna be making a, a running knot. For, forget, uh, ignore what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna make a running knot and then I'll show you how to do those, okay? So I'm gonna make a running knot and this is my first running knot. And just before I pull it, pull it tight, I'm gonna take this end and I'm going to do a half hitch, okay? I'm gonna do a half hitch into that knot. And then again, I'm gonna do another half hitch onto that knot, like, like a so, like a, like a so. <laughs> there we go, kinda of grab the little things. Okay, so now I have two, two half hitches that that lock that thing down, and then I can continue on with my locking, with my locking, uh, my locking stitch or my running stitch. Okay, let me move down a bit here. Um, so the running stitch is very, very different uh, than the other one. So you're going to go um, uh, to the left here. You're going to go underneath, okay, and then you're going to go under here. And it looks like you're just going to do a real cheesy one. Okay, these are the kind of the cheesy. Uh, running knots that don't really lock. They just, they just go underneath. Okay. So that's not what they want you to do. They want you to put one extra thing in there. So we're going to go underneath. Okay. We're going to go through here. And then instead of just coming down, we're going to go under here again, if, if that makes sense. Okay. We're going to go under here again. Okay. And now we kind of have this big mess of a knot type of thing, okay? And when you pull it tight, I did that really, really terrible. So let's do that one. Let's do that one again. Let's do that one again, okay. All right, so their running knot looks like this. You go under here, you go under this one, okay? Kind of pull it tight to where you want it to go. And now we're gonna take the end and we're gonna feed it right down inside that. Okay, there, that's their knot, all right? And it actually comes out really, really nice. Um, so it's under, under, and then down under again. So it's um, confusing, <laughs> very, very confusing. But if you get the hang of it, the, it pulls tight and it looks really, really nice. So I, I do like this knot. It's, it's, a, it's a lot more work. Um, you do have to kind of keep track of what you're doing, but it does 
it does come out looking, uh, does come, I didn't do that right, did I? No, I didn't. I didn't do that right. I did just a simple, I just did a simple one. Like I said, you have to keep track of what you're doing. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do that again. Once for the camera here. Okay, we're going to go down we're gonna go here. We're going to go underneath and then we're going to come around and then we're going to go underneath here like this. And then we're going to pull, pull it all tight. And that looks good. And there was a very large explosion outside. And I got to go see what it is. <laughs> all right. And just the last thing I wanted to mention was if you wanted to uh, do a real fancy one. And uh, so here I've, I've started out with a real nice one here. I have a bunch of run, running, running things. And when you get to an actual loom, you may want to break out a wire, then continue your continue your stitches and then bring out another wire, then continue. And here I've, I've ended with a really, 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 really nice one again. So, so anyway, there you go. Uh, get yourself some uh, lacing cord and go crazy. <laughs>